So we're gonna talk quickly about points and if they are inside, outside, or on the circle. Uh, it is a simple enough concept, but a lot of people do get thrown by it when it does get asked, so I'll just make a quick video to cover it up. Uh, so obviously there are three cases. A point can either be on the circle, so on the perimeter there. It can either be inside the circle or it can be outside the circle, all right? So if we wanna find out if a point is inside, outside, or on the circle, we need to find the distance OP, okay? So we need to find OP using the distance formula normally. So if you have the point O and the point P, you can find this. And then there are three cases. So we say if OP is equal to the radius, equal to OR, okay, what do you think that means? It means that it's gonna be on the circle, all right? So that means it's gonna be on the circle. If OP is less than the radius, okay, so less than the radius, then we're gonna have this case here because the distance OP isn't as long as the radius. That means it's gonna be inside the circle. And then the final case is if OP is greater than the radius, then that means it's gonna be outside the circle. So I'll just write those beside it here. So we're gonna say on circle if it's equal to, in circle if it's less than, and then outside circle if it's greater than. Right, so those are the three cases that you need to understand. Um, we're gonna look at just a quick example question of this, all right? So scroll down, let me write it out. So we have this circle here, x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y plus 5 is equal to zero. So it's in the general form. And we have three points here. We have a, which is gonna be minus one and two. We have b, which is three and five. And we have c, which is zero and four. And we need to find out if these points are inside the circle, outside the circle, or on the circle, all right? And um, so we'll start by finding what the uh, center point and the radius of this circle are. So I'm gonna write the general form underneath it. So x squared plus y squared plus two gx plus two fy plus c is equal to zero. So that means that two g is equal to minus two and g is gonna be equal to minus one. Here we have two f is equal to minus six f is gonna be equal to minus three, and then we have c is equal to plus five. c is equal to five. So the first two things we're gonna find then is the center point, uh, which I'll just continue over here. So we'll say center, remember is always minus g minus f. So in this case then, it's going to be plus one and three, yeah? Um, and then the radius is the second thing, so I'll do this in blue. We'll have a look at getting the radius, and this is, g squared plus f squared minus c, which again, this is all in the tables book. You don't have to learn that off. Um, so g squared plus f squared plus c. That's gonna be minus one squared plus minus three squared minus five. That's gonna be one plus nine minus five. And that's gonna be the square root of five. So that's the radius, all right? So I'll go down now and we're gonna find the distance between the center point, which is one, three, and each of these points individually. Yeah, so if we look back up here, the center point is O, and we're gonna treat each of these points, minus one, two, three, five, and O, four, as our point P. So we're gonna find the distance each time and then compare it to the radius. So I will go down and we'll start on the left here. We'll start with our point A. So A is going to be um, minus one and two, so minus one and two. This is gonna be x1 and y1. And our, uh, cent our cent the center of our circle here, I'll just write in dark blue, one and three is gonna be x2 and y2 every time, all right? So I'll go green here. The distance formula, again in the book, is gonna be x2 minus x1, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So if we work that out, that's going to be square root. So x2 is this one here, one, and then x1 is minus one, so it's gonna be minus, minus one squared, plus y2 is gonna be three, minus y1 is going to be just two. Again, that's gonna be squared. So here we're gonna have minus, or one minus minus one is gonna be one plus one, minus minus change to plus. So that's one plus one is two. Two squared is gonna be four. And then three minus two is gonna be one. One squared is gonna be uh, one. So it's square root of four plus one, which is equal to the square root of five. So that means our point A is on the circle. So I'll write that on 
circle because that is the same distance from the center point to A as the radius. So that means it's on the circle. Okay, and now what we have to do is we have to get our second point B and we're gonna see if that's inside, outside, or on the circle. So our second point B is three and five. So I'm gonna write that here. So we have our point B, which is three, five. And this is gonna be our X1 and our Y1. So I'm gonna write out, I'm not gonna write the distance formula out again. Um, I'm just gonna stick it straight in. So X2 minus X1 is gonna be one minus three. One minus three squared plus y2 minus y1 is gonna be three minus five squared. Three minus five squared. It's gonna be equal to, so that's gonna be one minus three squared will give us four, and then three minus five will be two, and then squared will be four again. So we have the square root of four plus four equal to the square root of eight, which is bigger than the radius. So that means it's going to be outside the circle, All right? Outside circle, and the last one we're gonna look at is uh, C and the point is zero four, so C is going to be I've got it written here zero four. I'm going to write x one and y one. Last time, pop it in the distance formula. X two minus x one is going to be one minus zero squared plus y two minus y one is going to be three minus four squared. That is going to be one plus, and that's gonna be one squared again. So that's gonna be square root of two, which is smaller than the radius five, and that means this is inside the circle, this point, right? So that's just a quick example, that's all there really is to um, that. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope it all made sense. Sorry it was a little bit long. In the next video, we are going to look at how to get the equations of circles, right? Which is gonna be what the next few videos are about. Uh, it's kind of a big topic, or a big bit in this topic. So we'll see you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos.